you know, what you are thinking, what your gut instinct is, what it appeals to you, what doesn't, and so forth. I don't, what, I don't know if I can trust them. Because, I mean, even as we have said, you know, we'll just, we'll, if we have to, we'll just turn around and say, F you, the deal's off, you're being nominated. I mean, what would hold them from doing that? Nothing. Um, we know Dustin is shady, but we know they are, too. They have two. Dustin's only one because Amber's horrible. Um, as long as Danielle doesn't win HOH next week, I don't see why anybody would be after either you or me. Blah, blah, blah. Which will just lead into other weeks. Basically guaranteeing us at least a couple weeks down the road is what I think. So we pretty much already have that if we just... Don't piss anybody else off and just keep it the same. I know that Amber's not that good, but, I mean, I wasn't supposed to win last week either, and I did. So, I don't. When I talk to them, I'm like, yeah, sounds good, you know, but, like, every time that I go back to, like, my room or something, I'm like, no, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, think about it, and I'm like, strategically, it might be better, but I don't even know if I can trust them. You know? Yeah, I feel pretty similarly. I don't know. I'm having a tough time believing just, you know, mostly everyone. Has Dustin most... been talking to you or anything? I he saw him with you. He seems very upset. Nervous and shook up, but he keeps claiming the reason, whether or not this is true or not. He keeps claiming that the reason is that he's upset that these things happen today because he's concerned that they affect the vote or the nominations in some way has a lot of things referred to the number nine or in multiples of three and that he's concerned that somehow the voting will result or the answering of it could result in two people going home or a third person being added oh. or whatever blah 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 and he was like he's just basically saying i don't like the timing of this it, it stressed me out and um i hope that it pertains to something after the vote, basically. Yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with the vote, do you? It might. The whole stitch in time save nine is the one that gets me. I think that's a whole other conversation. I've had to, like, back burner that a little bit because I'm more concerned about figuring this out right now. Yeah. I mean, what the fuck do you think this, this plan is? Do you think this is just an idle threat? What plan? Oh, to get uh, you gone? Yeah. I don't know what that is. What's he's he going to say? He's going to say something. Right. What's he going to say? What have you told him that? No idea. No idea? I mean, you haven't told him anything. Then. No, I haven't spoken to him since any of that happened about anything. I don't know. I just outright tell everyone that he claimed he was going to do that, you know, if that's the way it's going to go. It's... Yeah. And all we have to do is ignore him as he walks out the door. Who is he going to make believe it? Jen? Zach? Well, if he is going to go, should we just, keep, you know, draw it out as long as possible? Say, you know, we haven't really had the time to sit down and talk. We're not guaranteeing anything. We're not agreeing anything. We're not promising anything. So basically, like, as our first act of trust, like, you know, you're going to just need to wait and see what happens type of thing. Or should okay. we just outright say no? I mean, if that's what we decide. He said, and he's like, I'm cool either way. Whichever way you guys do it, whatever. But well, whatever, I don't fucking care. What kind of plan to get me out two or three weeks from now? What the hell does that mean? Yeah, he's like, if everything goes accordingly. Okay. That would be, if everything goes accordingly and he leaves, that something could get me out, possibly. In two or three weeks, that's like week eight or nine. Right. But he kept saying, all he said to me was, there's more people. It's my plan, and there's more people on it than you think. Well, you're not in on it, right? Yeah. Well, on what? No, I have no idea what he's That's talking what about. That's what I'm saying. So, so, so what does that mean? So he's going to tell Dustin and Amber something? Big fucking deal. Yeah. He's going to tell Zach to align with Jamika. I mean, what, what, yeah. what, what does that mean, you know? I don't really, I don't know. What, do you, what are you supposed to do? This is to me. <laughs> this is the question of the whole fucking thing. What are you supposed to do when you don't trust anybody? I know. Honestly, 
and like I do trust Jamika, I should say that, but mm-hmm. to me at this point, and it is probably is different for you, but for me at this point, I trust you a hundred percent and I trust yeah. the, the like I barely <laughs> believe a word anyone else is saying. The only time I feel like I'm having a normal conversation ever now is like when I'm talking to you, yeah. I feel like everybody else is just constantly up to something. Yeah. And like everything they say, they're saying for a reason. And hey, the same goes for me when I'm talking to them. But yeah. I feel like you're the only person that now I can actually like truthfully. I mean, what the hell is Zach talking about? He he talks, comes up here. What was the first thing that the, the, the guy said? And he says the complete wrong thing. Yeah. The complete wrong thing. Yeah. Then he claims there's Sanskrit on the boot, which then he then tried to pass off like a joke afterwards. Yeah. But nonetheless, when there was an audience of people and he was like, hmm, yeah, like went along with it, like it was very matter of fact. He's in- insisting upon the fact that the cards said something that they didn't actually say. Yeah. So he's either retarded or he's a, <laughs> or he's a complete and utter liar. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sorry, not that this bothers me, but. What in the world is he thinking you're talking about? About about how he has a better I know. Dick said that to me. What and he's like, mean? I don't know where he got that from. Well, I was like, I have no idea. Well, I said outright to Dick, and I hope you don't have a problem with this. Uh-oh. I said, No, no, no. I said the only way that this is even being considered is if, you know, all four parties are on board. I said, I'm not going anywhere, you know without her at this point mm-hmm. the, he knew it too it's not like i was telling him a secret he was yeah. gonna expose i was like you know and all you know any and all bets are obviously off if it's any if you know if you were ever up if you know whatever it, it's yeah. you know like against danielle or whatever you know it's like there's nothing yeah um but he he knew that and you know he didn't care or whatever that was part of his whatever he whispered to me in the bathroom just before like right before i went into the hot tub that as part of it also they would offer their like final votes if neither of them are there and either of us are there you know would promise us their votes or Mm -hmm. whatever but again none of this means anything i know i mean on survivor this season do you watch survivor Mm -hmm. on this last season a guy won a car Oh, I know, I know. That's yeah. what my dad told me that. And he, the guy fucking offers the guy a car because the other guy desperately needs it. And all he says is, Don't if in the me. final four, yeah. you can't vote for me. Not any other week, literally one week, because there was one scenario which he didn't like the numbers. He knew that the other guy was good at the challenges, blah, 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 blah. The guy agreed it, to it, took the car, and then voted him out that week in the final four. Mm-hmm. And, and he still gave him the car. He still gave him the car. But the guy who went home was totally awesome and playing a great game and Old. he boned it like a complete idiot and the other guy was a complete moron who basically stole a car and uh-huh. still lost horribly. Yikes. <laughs> Another thing is, <laughs> and this is a totally separate point of information, if I am in a veto, and it's not the world to me to win the veto, I think I might start taking prizes. I've never played in the video. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? If you take $10,000 once or twice, then no matter what happens, you That's come it. in third, yeah. you know? And you get to go home with 20,000, 20, yeah. you know, bucks is minimum. Um, you know, 20,000 bucks is not meaningless to me. Yeah. I, I just an aside. And we, that's really not a conversation for right now. But I was just thinking about it. <laughs> and I was like, you know... I don't know if I like my chances of making it to the final two. So maybe yeah. I should start playing. That's like, what I told myself before I came. I was like, anytime. You know, and I yeah. didn't do it, though. Like, something I, I was like, just don't do it. I kind of feel like, depending on the scenario, I don't think I'm... My chances of winning <laughs> 50 or 500,000 are super great. Great. I'm so glad you're my partner. Then. No, it'll, I think yours are good. You know, I think you just need to, like stop that conversation what conversation Feeling yeah you that don't way? think like your chances are that good because the game changes like every week it's I gonna know. be off of you and on to somebody else i know how is it even still on me it shouldn't be it's not right, really but you well, think it is. i know it's not really though it's more on dustin than it is on me and more on dick and danielle than it is on right me. and yeah i just i don't know i can't 
I can't fucking stand anyone here. 45 more days of these people makes me want to kill myself. I know. It's only 40. We're halfway done, though. I mean, that's, like, exciting. That is exciting. But on Half the other a hand, semester. how long does it feel like day one was ago? It feels like that was six years ago. Not to me. Really? Mm-mm. I mean, it feels like a long time, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Like. I guess I could see it either way. I it's guess been seven weeks, and we're only going to have six more this time. Who? Is that Everyone else has been in the diary room 15 times today. I haven't been one. I haven't either. But I've been asleep. Oh, you had their little call the end, but that was just to give you the camera. Yeah, so. I didn't ask anything. Um. Where, 